Hey guys, today I'm going to make a video because I have been diagnosed with something and I don't think um, many people really know about it, but it's actually very popular. So what I have is called H. pylori. I've had it for probably months. I don't actually know when it first started because I was really nauseous for a really long time. Um, and then I started to get a lot of reflux and I was just like, okay, this isn't right. So I went to the doctor's. Um, and the doctor basically told me, oh, a lot of people actually have this thing called H. pylori. What it is, is it's a stomach bacteria um, and it can grow out of control and some people are symptomatic to it. Uh, I am, but a lot of people are also asymptomatic, so they show no symptoms, but I happen to be the one who shows symptoms to it. So in order to get rid of it or try to, I had to go on to antibiotics. Um, so three different antibiotics, one of them is called Nexium, um, that basically lowers the acidity in your stomach. It tries to keep it down. It's almost like Gaviscon. Um, and it also tries to kill the bacteria that's in your stomach. And then another one was um, Amoxicillium. And then there was another one that like tasted awful. Um, but anyway, so they, they made me feel even more like sick than I ever felt. I was nauseous every single day. Um, going to school, I even like had to step out of classes because I was that nauseous. It felt like I was just going to vomit at any time, which is disgusting, I know. But anyway, that's just what I had to deal with. Um, so I took them twice a day for a full week. And then after that, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I don't know. I was just, I was finished with antibiotics. I was feeling pretty good. Um, I still had nausea though, like it was like a constant thing. And then I started to get a lot of air that was coming up and I was just like, oh, this, like, it's kind of like, not again, like, are you serious? But I've done some research and I found out that this bacteria is generally really hard to get rid of. Uh, a lot of people don't get rid of it the first time because you have folds in your stomach. And basically when you do the first treatment of it, um, you may eradicate all the bacteria in it, but it, there might just be a little bit stuck in like a little, like, area or fold of your stomach um, and if that's there it can still grow so i've been on a really strict diet for the time being i had to get another test so it's a breath test and it took like two days to get back i'm positive again so i'm now on another uh three antibiotics which will go for another week i had to take gaviscon four times a day i'm on three different antibiotics i'm still taking the nexium they've just changed one of my antibiotics to make sure that it would be uh, like it might be a bit stronger this time or it might like do something different but my um, my rate of the the bacteria the amount that I have is a little less than last time um, but I just want to talk about my experience with having this because a lot of people do get different symptoms but I'm just going to address all the different um, symptoms that I've had so first of all I just like to say this is that I've never had any health problems before I don't know where I got it from I really don't know where I got it from you can get it from food dogs people it's it's um contagious um you can get it from yeah water so you know it's 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 bound to you're probably gonna get it and you might just not have symptoms towards it um but anyway I've had really bad symptoms towards it I wouldn't say it's severe but it definitely is really bad so so last week I um was okay I was still getting air coming up but I was eating pretty normal I wasn't really like um <clears throat> restricting what foods I was eating I was still like eating like you know a bit of junk a bit of healthy I'm genuinely really healthy though because like I altered into fitness um but then I think it was it was like in the day on on one day it was like on like a Friday or a Saturday or something like that in the morning I had ate like my cereal which I still eat now that's fine to eat it's like a rice based cereal um, and I had a protein bar and then I was just kind of like lying down and all of a sudden my throat just felt so tight and I was like okay this this is fine this, this is fine like you know nothing's really happening it's probably just I don't know it's probably just nothing you know because I do like have anxiety sometimes so I thought it was just like me just having a bit of anxiousness um, but then it just got worse and worse and because I do get anxiety sometimes I just started to have a panic attack so I went to the hospital <laughs> but you know I couldn't really breathe so you know it's fine um anyway and they basically they gave me this numbing 
uh, cream and they basically said that I need to get another test for it. Um, at this time, I didn't know that I still had it. I was really confused on what was happening. So that was like why I was like so freaked out at the same time. Um, it just basically felt like my throat was so hot and it was tight and it was just such an awful feeling and it was so dry, I couldn't swallow properly and I've had this episode happen again after this experience. But anyway, after that, I had to go back to the doctors, I had to get another breath test and then wait for the results to come back. In the period of waiting, I went to the hospital again because I had the worst flare up. It was worse than last time where I could physically feel food coming up my throat. My throat was so dry and it was burning because what happens is over time when the acid goes into your throat, it can corrode like a little bit of the esophagus, which is really such an uncomfortable experience. Um, and I've actually heard that sometimes when people have this, it can... Uh, increase anxiety because your gut health is very much related to your brain like it's just it's closely related so it can set off the same symptoms of a heart attack sometimes um, I haven't had that thank god touch wood like where is wood I don't know anyway <laughs> the bench there we go um, but yeah that's what other people have had but a lot of people have had induced anxiety and like increased anxiety due to this and I would definitely say that has happened uh in this year i've had more anxiety attacks than i've ever had in my whole entire life and um but yeah that's basically what just happened so i went to the hospital they gave me more numbing cream they asked me to swallow a pill but i actually can't swallow pills um and at the moment my food has to be so like mashed up and it takes me hours to eat so there was no way i was swallowing a pill i tried it and i just ended up choking so you know couldn't swallow a pill <laughs> um but anyway after that i was really shaken up by that whole event situation because i could not breathe properly and like that's not the most nicest thing but i did see a frog when i like walked outside which was pretty cute but either way that happened i'm home today that happened last night so i'm, I'm home here i have my antibiotics i've just taken them uh I've lost a lot of weight. I lost like 2.5 kilos in one week and now I've lost another kilo in this week now, which is slowed down because I've just been really trying to take advantage of times when I can eat. But the thing is, is if I eat too fast, it just sets off another like flare up and then the food just keeps coming up. And anyway, it's just, it's awful. I used to be like, I was a power lifter and everything. And now like quarantine is just making me like at home and like, you know, it's fine because I don't want to spread the disease, but you know. It's just it's a lot i'm just i'm not used to not having energy to be able to do my regular things i've just been doing art though which is pretty good but anyway that's what's been happening with me um my love is sent out to anyone who has what i have because i know exactly how it is it's awful you know not being able to eat and drink properly is not nice and it's such a little part of your day but it, it, you realize how much it actually takes up and how much it affects your energy and your motivation towards doing stuff um so yeah i just wanted to address that um just because a lot of people probably have this and don't necessarily have someone that they know that has it as well so i just thought that i would put out my experiences of it i will do an update if you guys want an update as i am getting towards well, i'm on my second day of antibiotics um i kind of do feel the same like but i don't feel extremely nauseous like i did on my last row of antibiotics uh but yeah and i also bought mastic gum it's like a it's a natural sap from a tree and it's supposed to help with gut health um and i did try that the other day but i don't think it was the best because of the peppermint in it um but yeah my diet is so bland at the moment as well it is very bland but anyway thank you guys for watching i hope you're all doing well and staying safe in this quarantine time um but yeah see you guys bye